I guess he didn't get to speak on it yesterday, but I'll let him speak for himself now. I mean, we're, I, I, we're I've moving. Literally been a, I, I still don't know anything about it because I've been avoiding it because it's pissing people off. Like, people are trolling me like, what do you have to say about this? I'm like, I don't even know. I haven't looked yeah. into it. I didn't watch the show when it aired. I know nothing. I can't tell you. And that, that upsets them greatly. So I've been yeah. enjoying being literally the person who knows nothing about it. So mods in YouTube, if they're going <clears> to <throat> spurg out, if they're going to talk about this anymore, gone. Banned. Done. Let me tell you something. I'm moving on from something really awful. I'm moving on from something that uh, I'm going to miss for a long time, and it's going to be tough. And I'm moving on, and I'm doing a great job, and I've got the support of some amazing people. And I'm not going to let people who... The, the only people talking about this who are people who literally want me to kill myself, who literally want to try to ruin my show, try to get me to do something terrible. All the people who are white knighting and spurging over this are people who have been calling her uh, terrible names, talking about my 10-year-old daughter. These are not good people. They've called, been calling April a co while me, the person who had a terrible fight with her and addiction and all these problems that have been very public. I've been saying, I hope she gets better. I hope she lives a good life, all of that stuff. These are people who have been calling her terrible names for a, over a year, abusing her on the internet for over. You want to talk about the real abusers? It's the people projecting on me. We know the relationship we had. We were both sad that it fell apart. But I, I will say this one final time. I've never hit a woman in my life. I've never done anything like that. So anybody in the YouTube chat, mods, if you're paying attention, any of that shit, gone. Gone. Done. Ban them. I don't want timeouts. I don't want that. Ban them. They're gone. You can hate this show if you want. You can think I'm the biggest piece of shit in the world. I'm not going to let you do it on my platform. I'm not going to let you do it on my show. Because on this show, we do it for our fans. We do it for the people who love us. So if you want to sit here and sling all kinds of vile, disgusting accusations, not because you think they're true, but let's be honest, because you hate me and you want me gone. That's fine. But don't be a chicken shit. Have the balls to say what you want, which is, Aaron, I don't like you. I'd like you gone. I'm not going to breathe life into bullshit any further because it's already dead. It already died. Only two shows made it a thing, and those are two shows whose stated goals were basically killing April, getting her off the internet, destroying my marriage, killing it, whatever, and getting me to leave the internet, and probably they don't care if I kill myself. So if those two shows want to do it and the fans of those two shows who have been saying horrible things about this same person that they now pretend to defend. I know how the internet works, guys. You're not that good. I know who and what I am. I've never done anything like that. We had a beautiful, beautiful relationship. And I, I'm sad. I mean, you go through our text. We were both sad it ended the way it did. And it's unfortunate. And, you know, with my kids, with my family, with everybody else, I'm picking up the pieces. I'm rebuilding my life. I'm improving myself. I'm taking all the right steps. And I'm not going to let gay internet trip me up. I'm becoming the best person I've ever been. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy for the people in my life. And if you're, if you're some random person on the internet who wants to go, they think you're this or that, then we're going to cut you loose. I'm not going to let you have access to my life anymore. It hasn't worked out very well. Because all your stated goals are getting people to kill themselves, getting running people off the internet. If that's who you are, if that's what you like to do, then you can do that. It's a sad existence. But I will say this, uh, you don't get to do it for me. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not your monkey. I'm not going to dance to your tune. So, didn't do it. I know they're very upset that it didn't happen. They'd wish it would happen. It didn't. Sorry, we're going to move on from you. We got a great show today. A lot of fun stuff to talk about. Um, I got Speaking of which, I got a beautiful letter from uh, my daughter yesterday. My daughter and I were talking. And I like to check up on, uh, on the kids every once in a while, see if they're doing okay with everything. Mm -hmm. And I, I just asked my daughter yesterday. She was sitting down here. We were, you know, we just played kickball. She was sitting down here. I go, how are you doing with everything? You know, everything that's going on, how are you doing? And she goes, I'm, I'm sad sometimes. And that always, you know, as a parent, that always sucks. 
to hear your kids say, you, you know, your kid's very young yet, but mine's, my oldest is 10. You know, the one that uh, Patrick Melton made comments about disgusting sexual comments about? Yeah, that's... Uh, um, not, not only that, a guy who sent weird, creepy messages about a 14-year-old girl, too. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not going to take moral indignation from someone who did egregious things regarding children. You want to call me a certain name? I could call him a certain name. And it's uh, the kind of files Adobe Acrobat creates. If you catch my drift. So, anyway, I, again, I'm not going to take my P's and Q's and my moral things from people who, like, a guy like that who talks like that sexually about children. A creep, a weirdo. Again, they want to call me whatever. They, guy, mods, YouTube chat, get rid of them. Cast them out. We don't need them. But I asked my 10-year-old, how you doing? She goes, I miss April sometimes. You know, this is the one who cut April's pictures yeah, out. Of the, the one pictures. who was very, very upset about April. Yeah. Uh, the, the one who had the most of a bond. With yeah. Her. And she said when she was good and she was around, she would take me shopping. We would go places together. And I really liked it. And I'll miss that. And we hugged, and it was, it was nice. And I said, you know, honey, I miss her too. You know? And um, that, that shit yesterday, man, that was unfortunate. It was from two and a half years ago. Mm -hmm. It's not valid. It never, it didn't happen that way. And the people who know me, know that and the people who know her know that unfortunately neither of us can really speak about it because both of us are under an order where we can't really talk about it and i've been given the leeway from another party to talk about it as much as i can i can't anymore um i made a deal but uh i just my daughter and i i gave her a big hug she gave me a big hug and uh you know that's the kind of shit i'm i'm working through you know, it's it's this weird combination of anger because of the way I was treated at the end and how everything went down at the end. And, and you guys all saw publicly how that went down. I mean, that the arrest and that all became very public and kind of the life that was going on. And uh, that, that the anger of that mixed with the beautiful thing that we had and the amazing life that we had together and how we... Not just her. We threw it away. We didn't protect it. I mean, it, it was unbelievable. I mean, when we decided to start doing the things that ultimately led to our respective downfalls, we were doing so well. And that was our thought process. God, we're just so amazed. Let's try this. Let's do this. And it, it was a disaster, and it always will be. But my daughter then left me a note yesterday. And... Uh, she left me some really cute stickers in it. And so you like hang in there stickers and shit yeah. like that. And she said, you know, just dad, I love you. I hate seeing you sad. She said, um, uh, she said, I just want you to be happy. I love when you play kickball with us. And she basically in her way said, I want you to stay away from the internet and I want you to be happy. And I okay. said, that's beautiful. So that, that letter from my daughter inspired me to say, just cut these people loose, these vultures who are trying to kill you, these vultures who don't care about you, who don't care about the truth, who don't care about anything, mm -hmm. but for some reason having their fun on the internet and having their fun on the internet is playing this game where they pretend to give a shit about someone they've said horrible things about for the last year and whose stated goal was to ruin her life and wreck her life and break her. And they did. And they did. As all of us around her tried to help, these people broke her down with incessant harassment. They abused her. 100% those people abused her. Now they want to come and try to project on me and pretend that I did because of, two and, of a two-and-a-half-year-old text after a terrible fight. These people, they're monsters. Um, my girl last night was asking me, she goes, you ever, you ever, um, you ever abused a woman in your life? I go, never once. She goes, that's all that matters.